Hello guys! Welcome sa ating BCLTE review number 15. And for today's video, isi-share ko naman sa inyo ang detailed computation ng tax on transfer of real property ownership. Tara, umpisahan na natin. Sample computation number 1. Compute the tax on transfer of real property ownership of a property with a fair market value of 1 million pesos. And the total consideration involved in the acquisition acquisition is 2 million pesos. Tandaan po natin sa transfer of real property ownership whichever is higher po ang pipiliin po natin para maging baseline of computation natin. So, ang pipiliin po natin si 2 million pesos the total consideration involved in the acquisition ng property. So, If the property is located in the province, ang formula po po natin is 50% of 1%. Si 2 million, imumultiply natin sa 50%, then 1%. So, ang total po niyan is 10,000 pesos. Papaano naman kapag sa city ang location ng iyong property? So, the formula is 75% of 1%. Si 2 million, i-multiply po natin sa 75% of 1%. So, ang transfer tax payable to the city is 15,000. So, ganun lang po. Tandaan nyo po yan. Yung formula na yan, whichever is higher, sa fair market value and the total consideration involved in the acquisition. Okay. Next po natin, sample computation number 2. Compute the tax on transfer of real property ownership of a property with a fair market value of 1 million and with the following specification. So, ang location po sa city And residential, type of property, of course, land. Ito naman ay ipinamana. So, ang mode of transfer is inheritance. So, ang descendants debt o yung kamatayan ng tagapagmana, ang petsa, ano, date, ano, is December 2015. So, tatandaan niyo po yung mga date na yan, yung mga year na yan. And ang payment of transfer tax is 2019. So, ilang taon na po yung lumipas bago po nagbayad ng transfer tax 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, ano, almost uh, four years. Ano po. At tandaan natin na every three years nagkakaroon po ng general revision. So, dahil ang location niya ay city, So, si 1 million na fair market value ay imumultiply natin sa 75% of 1%. And, magkano yun? So, 7,500. At dahil siya ay almost 4 years na bago siya nagbayad, may interest na ito na 70, naka-maximum na po tayo, 72% kasi 3 years na po ang lumipas kasi 2% monthly ang interest. So, 20, uh, 12 times 224. So, something like that. So, naka-maximum na po tayo na 72%. Ang interest po niya is how much? 5,400. And inaalaw ang mga local government unit na mag-impose ng tinatawag nating surge, surcharge na 25%. percent according to the local government code mayroon o pinapayagan ang LGUs na mag-impose ng 
surge, surcharge na 25%. Kapag lumampas na doon sa 60 days uh, period, so mayroon na siya automatic na surcharge na 25%. So, ang total tax for 2019, kung isasama natin si surcharge na 1,000, 1,875 1,875 So, the total is 14,775 14,775 14,775 So, ayan, nakuha nyo na po Number 3 Ito naman Ang fair market value ay 1 million pesos. Ayan. 1 million. And the total consideration involved is 2 million. So, mataas si, si acquisition cost. 2 million. So, ito yung pipiliin natin na maging baseline natin ng computation. Ang location ng property siya sa province, so 50% of 1% siya. Residential, of course. Ang date ng deed of sale is January 16. Pagunan po natin, 2016. Nagbayad siya ng 2019. 16, 17, 18, 19. So, 3 years na po. So, magiging 72% na po ang kanyang interest. So, 2 million times 50% of 1% is 10,000. And, ang interest na 72% is 7,200. And, yung sinabi ko kang nga kangina, allowed ang LGU na mag-impose ng 25% surcharge So magkano ba ang surcharge? Napakalaki din nito. So, ayan. 2 5. So ang total tax payable to the province is 19,700. Okay. Number 4. Ito naman computation in consideration of the 60-day period from the time of death of the descendant tagapagmana. So, ang fair market value is 1 million. So, mataas pa rin si fair market value kaysa sa total consideration involved na 500,000. So, si 1 million yung kukunin natin. So, imumultiply pa rin natin siya sa 75% of 1% kasi nasa city po ang location ng property. Kano yan? 7,500 and ang kanyang interest 2% kasi March 31, 2019 and the buy ng June 15. So, lagpas na po ng 60 days. Kaya may 2% na interest po siya. So, magkano po yun? 150 pesos. Ayan. And, syempre, may 25% surcharge pa rin siya. Kasi lumagpas na siya ng ano, uh, 60 days. So, mas malaki pa yung surcharge. 1875. So, ang total tax is 9000 525. So, sana may natutunan po kayo tungkol sa ating uh, topic today, ang detailed computation ng tax on transfer of real property ownership. Maraming salamat po hanggang sa muli and good luck po sa mga magtitake ng exam BCLTE this coming June 11, 2023. Bye-bye!